back in time to the 1950s and the prototype Delta, which became the forerunner of the famous East Coast Mainline Class 55s. Here it is at Rugby. The East Coast Mainline, where we see two different production Deltics for Class 55s. This class comprised a mere 22 locomotives. DP2 had the external appearance of a Delta, but the internal workings of a Class 50. This Delta is seen at Newcastle. diesel electrics were the most powerful production passenger express diesel locomotives on British railways and had a tractive effort of 50,000 pounds. They were fitted with two Napier Delta engines which were unique in their triangular shape. Transmission was electric. and another shot of the prototype Delta. Between Hitchin and Biggleswade, the Class 55 Deltics could be seen in full flight. This was number 55022, the Royal Scots Grey. Another Deltic, this time Bally Moss, departs from King's Cross. Further down the East Coast Main Line, this is 55022 at Retford and the Durham Light Infantry. Ballymoss again, this time at Doncaster. Also at Doncaster 
55006, the Fife and Forfar Yeomanry. Southbound at speed through Grantham, we see number four, the Queen's own Highlander. And the Duke of Wellington's regiment, north of Newark. At this time, semaphore signals still controlled trains at Newark. 55009 again, this time on a down express. Finally at Newark, we see Pinza again. More Class 55 Deltics at Barkston. And one at Grantham. This one was number 55011 and was called the Royal Northumberland Fusiliers. Also at Wellin, we see 55022, the Royal Scots Grey. The Black Watch was at Peterborough. A much earlier shot on the eastern region was this one of the Prince of Wales' own regiment, seen at King's Cross. Back into the Blue Era, but still at King's Cross, this is Tullyard. A shot of the prototype Deltic passing Weedon Junction in 1958. 